Welcome to iLecture Online. Now let's see if we can do this with a 3 by 3 matrix. What I mean by this, I mean find the eigenvalues, find the eigenvectors, find the bases, and show that the vectors in the bases are linearly independent and that they span the vector space. So starting with this 3 by 3, let's find the eigenvalues. We do that by subtracting the unknown eigenvalues from the diagonals and then find the determinant of the matrix and set it equal to zero. I'm going to do the following. I'm going to take minus 4 minus lambda, 4, 3, minus 5, 5 minus lambda, 3, 0, 0, and 1 minus lambda. So we're subtracting the unknown eigenvalue from each of the diagonal elements, Oop. then taking the determinant of that and set it equal to zero and solve for lambda. Now we should find as many as three different values for lambda. Let's see if that's the case here. So this is a little bit more complicated because it is a three by three, but you just kind of have to slog through it, so to speak, using basic algebra. So let's see how this works. So we're going to take the first element right here, which is minus four minus lambda, and multiplying it times the product of these two minus the product of those two. Luckily, this is zero, so it's simply the product of those two, which is 5 minus lambda and 1 minus lambda. Now we take the second element. We have to take the negative of the second element, and we're going to multiply it times the product of those two minus the product of those two. Again, there's a zero here, so it's simply the product of these two, which is minus 5 times 1 minus lambda. And finally, we take this element plus 3 times the product of those two minus the product of those two, which is zero, so that drops out. So it's not quite as bad as we thought, and then set that, of course, equal to zero. Now we have to work this out and see what we get. So first we'll multiply these two together. So minus lambda times minus lambda is lambda squared. We get plus four lambda minus five lambda, which is minus lambda, and then this times this is minus 20. Multiply this times one minus lambda. Here, we can simplify that by minus 4 times minus 5 is plus 20 times 1 minus lambda. All right, and that is equal to 0. Now here, we're going to multiply these two together. So this times this gives us lambda cubed plus lambda squared and plus 20 lambda. So I multiply all these three times lambda. Now I'm going to multiply again times 1, which is plus lambda squared minus lambda whoop, and minus 20. So it takes care of this and then we have plus 20 and minus 20 lambda and that's equal to zero. The nice thing about it is that the constant term cancels out. Minus 20 plus 20 cancels out. No constant term means that it's a lot easier to solve a polynomial of order three. Uh, let's see here. I gotta be careful because I think I'm missing a negative sign right here, right? This times this is actually a minus lambda cubed. All right. And this times this is plus, this times this is plus, all right? So that would be plus, minus, minus, minus. All right, good. Gotta be careful about those negative signs. All right, I'm gonna combine like terms and see what we get. Minus lambda cubed plus lambda squared plus lambda squared, that would be plus two lambda squared. 20 lambda minus 20 lambda minus lambda. So that would cancel these two out, but we still have a minus lambda that equals zero. I like the first term to be positive. I'm going to multiply everything by negative one. So we get lambda cubed minus two lambda squared plus lambda equals zero. And when I factor out a lambda, I'll get lambda squared minus two lambda plus one. And I can factor this some more. I can then say that lambda times lambda minus 1 times lambda minus 1 equals 0. In other words, I end up with a double root, which means there's only two possibilities. The eigenvalue, the first one, is equal to 0, and lambda sub 2 is equal to 1, and that's a double root. So those are the two eigenvalues of this particular matrix, even though it's a 3 by 3, and you normally expect three eigenvalues. In this case, since there's a double root, there's only two eigenvalues, and that's how it's done.